because it does tend to bring back a lot of the fear and the emotions. And, you know, sometimes it's meant to be forgotten for good reason. Years later, I started to have physical problems from it and actually had to, you know, undergo various surgeries because of unexplained scarring in my um, tubes and ovaries and, and uterus. There was just, you know, the doctors didn't know what it was from. There was just scarring in there. I never told the doctors uh, what I knew it was from. It's not something that you can say, all right, hey, doc, you know, this is what's going on, especially back then. I had this time in my life where it just kept happening and happening and happening, and it really picked up for a couple years. This encounter uh, started as it always does. When I woke up, there was there was a, one of the greys standing at the foot of my bed, and I saw him there, and then just blacked out completely. As I wake up this time after I blacked out, I was in a strange, strange place. I, I realized that I was in a, a cocoon surrounded in gel. I started to panic. One of the greys realized I was awake, hurried over to me. And I remember seeing a needle coming at me. And it was a fear I can't even explain. I realized that I was in a, a cocoon surrounded in gel. I looked through the gel and the cocoon. I'm looking out and, into the room, and I noticed that there's there's some grays in there. And I couldn't tell exactly what they were doing, but I was distracted by a, a small girl. Um, looked like a small child, but it was what appeared to be a hybrid of a human and a gray alien. She was really strange. She wasn't dressed in, in the same clothes that Grays wear. She was dressed like it was some um, old fashioned clothes, maybe 1800s. It was confusing. It was almost, you know, surreal. As I was looking at her, she looked at me and I felt almost like a kind of connection with this child and she, um, came right up to me. It was a not just an interest, it was a, a connection, like a deep connection, and, and it felt a familiarity with her. One of the greys realized I was awake, hurried over to me, and I remember seeing a needle coming at me and, and right through the cocoon. And uh, then I just blacked out and she's just always had a, a place in my heart, I guess, for, you know, from the experiences, I always remember that, that child. It's, it's like they're preparing us for something that's going to happen in the future um, to mankind. It's a, it's a preparation of sort. Um, there's areas of the brain that we all know we don't use. Um, they could be storing the information there. They said that uh, you know when the time comes, we will act and know exactly what to do. Um, whatever's going to happen, I think that as abductees, we're being prepared to assist others with whatever changes is coming to this planet. I try sometimes to say, okay, this is all in my head, and, and I continue, and then something will happen. 
that reminds me that it's very real. I've had times where I just step back and say, okay, I'm gonna just, you know, join the human race and just do normal things, and this is not happening to me. But they won't let me. Can't say that I, I would have chosen this if, if I had, you know, had a choice, but uh, for whatever reason, I'm, I'm going through this and it's not my imagination. I've, I've had a lot of time to, to think about what they did and, and how angry I was, but if they were really going to do it to hurt me, then why would they take the memories away? Why would they care? You know, why would they care? They would just let me remember. I think that literally everybody is afraid of this. I think it happens to far more people than remember it at all. I see it as a part of the human experience that we cannot acknowledge. Most skeptics and people that don't believe are probably the ones that believe the most. People are eager to reject the things I've written about and they are so scared of it that they have to put it out there that it's not happening. But when they look up in, you know, in space at night, I think they really know that there's not a chance that we're the only species here on, in this universe. And it's an unknown that every single one of us senses is there. And I know that the you know, population of people are being able to start talking about it. It's, it's like there's a worldwide awakening happening right now. That there is something happening on this earth to human beings that is powerful and real and that we either don't or can't acknowledge even to this day. If you don't believe now, then just wait a little while because the proof is coming.